Welcome, welcome, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Oh, it's so nice to have you with us. How's your day been? Has it been good? Do you feel that a bit of crafting might elevate it? Do you feel a bit of a discount might as well? Oh, what's she on about? Oh, I don't know. Well, I do. We have got for you today, add more, save more. This is big, people. This is a fabulous opportunity for you to get some incredible discounts. If you, here's the gist of it, buy one thing today and use the code APRIL1, you get 15% off on top of your Club Inspire. But if you get up to five things, then you can get 20% off, including your Club Inspire. So today is totally and absolutely and completely your day to get involved. If you have just tuned in, hey, you're fun, Becky. Oh, it's all nice to see you. I hope you are having a good one. And if you do love a discount, I would definitely say today is a brilliant one for it because we have got so many treats, including the last 17 in the world of our Rose Gold Gemini. I'll tell you more about that later. We've got some fabulous dyes and we have got the wonderful Debbie. What are you making for craft along, Debbie? Oh, we're going we're gonna to make a gift box, a uh, gift basket, sorry, not gift box. I felt doing something a little bit easier than some of the projects I've been bringing of late, apologies, uh, but something really quite nice and it is quite big, I'm not going to lie, this is a nice big, and when I say big, look how much it stores, I mean this is just all the sweeties oh. that I've, um, I've got in there, uh, but this uh, is intended for my little grandkids, so yes, so a nice little uh, gift basket, it's very easy to construct, but of course, the beautiful border dies running along each there on the bottom and the top creates this beautiful wavy like basket feature um, and I absolutely love them. They are, it's just a beautiful die set. Um, and I thought, I'm trying to think of something a little bit different than card making normally. Um, so a gift basket that I think will, um, especially the size of this one, and it stores quite a lot. You do need a nice strong sturdy bottom for that though. So we'll talk about a little bit more as we go along the craft um, along. But um, honestly, it's just a fabulous set of dies. Um, and I'm really excited to get started on this one because I thought I'd keep you nice and easy for this craft along. Uh, but showing you how you can do those wavy techniques with your papers on top of that design as well. Uh, so come and join us, grab a cuppa. Becky's going to go through all the shopping list that you need. Um, you can adapt this paper, you don't have to use the paper that I've chosen. You can adapt it to whatever paper choice. And don't forget, we've got some beautiful paper pads. Choose whatever you want to craft along with. Uh, and you can use any of the designs. If you've already got these dies, you can use a design that fits your purpose for your gift box, uh, your gift basket, sorry. I've chosen uh, the beautiful, and if I remember rightly, the Bonnie butterflies from this collection but becky's gonna give you a little bit more detail plus we've got a nice a lovely special uh, guest joining as well oh yeah we do we've got a craft longer all the way from the other side of the ocean we'll find out more about lovely amy in a little bit for now though if you are like do you know what bex i deserve a little two hours off to get crafting go and grab the following goodies so that you can craft along too so we've got the border dies and this is what we've got on show today if you don't have them don't worry you can purchase them today with that discount centura pearl we've gone for a hint of silver you've got spring fever eight by eight that's for your solids as well you quick dry in your jet black obviously you need your gemini machine then i've got your scoreboard guillotine which by the way is a get it got it good deal today if you fancy the nosy uh all-purpose glue tacky glue uh red liner tape and gems optional so those are the treats that you want to get your hands on if you do want the border dies let me bring them to you because they're quite new you know only been with us a few days really let me show you these beauties they are fab you have got the detail and design here that come with stamps that are interchangeable so here's one of your designs this is our cute florals look how adorable these little flowers are and as you can see you don't just get the actual dye uh, you get add additional dyes as well so you can do like matte and layering almost with them or um like a decoupage style as well i've then got your bonnie butterflies this is what debbie is going to be working with but of course you can choose your own option 
I've got love to you as well. I think this one's so pretty, really delicate and interesting. Then I've got your dancing stars. You can get this one in the collection too. I think this one is so nice because it's caught, it's got the stars for that sort of star in your life. But also, brilliant actually. You could make it almost look like fireworks for special occasions, couldn't you? Then I'm bringing to you your classic swirls. Uh, this one I think is lovely. I said before, it's sort of got that Bridgerton-esque feel to it. Do you know what I mean? Like sort of yeah like a i don't know it's just got an elegance to it hasn't it very bridgerton and then i've got your in the foliage this one i think is really cool because depending on what color you're using it it could be winter spring summer or fall good lyrics to a song uh, but yeah it could be really any of those at all cool for paper piecing and also very um unisex too so those are the ones you don't have to choose your favorite Pfft. No, get them all together and you are saving 20%. Well, you're not. You're not saving 20%. That's a lie. Because you're saving 20%, but then you're also saving on whatever um, of our Club Inspire you are. But then if you use, if this is the only thing you buy today and you use the code APRIL1 at checkout, you'll get an extra 15% off that. I mean, it's pretty phenomenal, isn't it? $37.99 or $47.95 for you. But again, 15% off. It's not just myself, the team, and Debbie who are in today. Oh, no. We are heading stateside to say hello to Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi. How are you? Good. Nice to see you this morning. Love My morning. Sorry. Yeah, okay, so tell us where you are and what time it is. I'm in Santa Monica, California, and it's six, a little after six in the morning here. <laughs> that is craft dedication. I love it, Amy. Um, have you got everything you need? Have you chosen your colour scheme for this? Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about it? Um, well, I'm not an expert, but I'm having fun learning, and I love how much I gain by watching you guys and learning along and crafting along. Oh, that's just wonderful. Oh, Amy, well, I will let you get all of the bits and bobs you need. We'll keep popping in with you now and again, Amy, if that's all right. Thank you, yeah. Oh, so we will chat more. 6 a.m. Ta-da! crazy. I mean, I love it. And have you seen how fast she looks? At 6 a.m. I she do not look like that. She looks beautiful at 6 a.m. in the morning. Wish I looked like that good at 6 a.m. in the morning because I don't look like that at 6 a.m. in the morning. I wish I looked like uh, that at 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Honey hoop. Um, we have got the wonderful Border Stamp and Die collection as our main treat. Do not forget that discount code you are allowed to get today. Head on over to our socials to find out more. I did put a little story up on my Insta if you need to know more and head on over to our website Get social with us. We've got Rachel as our social superstar. And let's get ready to craft with Devi. Yeah, absolutely. So what we'll do is we'll cut all the pieces for the box first. Then we'll do the die cutting. And then I'll teach you all the tricks that you can do to create that perfect uh, border um, of the mat and layers as well. And we'll do that all stage by stage, real time crafting. Hopefully we'll get all of this done. Maybe we might get this done. Maybe a bit more. Who knows? Uh, but we'll take it in, uh, you know, at your pace as well as my own pace. Um, and I, first things first, we're just going to start with all the bases. So choose your cardstock. I've gone with Centura Pearl, which has got that hint of silver running through there. Uh, there's lots of cardstock. A good construction cardstock is always important when you're doing something of construction. And because this is, and it's quite weighty, this, um, I mean, it depends what you're putting in there, to be fair. There's a lot of um, chocolates and sweeties there. Shh. I'm not going to tell my daughter. She's not going to know until I just land on the doorstep with it. Uh, but um, yeah, as long as you've got the best construction cardstock, and when we're talking about that, it's the weight of the cardstock. So anything from a 300 GSM, I'm going to say maybe 250 you could get away with, but you will need to support the bottom part of the box if you're going to put something heavy in there. Whether it be gifts, whether it be trinkets, whether it be presents, whatever it is that you're going to go. I've just gone with a sweet option because... 
I like to fatten my grandkids up. <laughs> she does just restrict the CT intake. However, it's nice for them to have it. But yeah, um, construction weight stock. So from 250 upwards is recommended for this. Our essential repair is 310 GSM. So this is going to be the perfect one for that. Um, and like I said, I've gone with the hint of uh, silver running through mine. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to cut, we're going to cut out all the pieces that we need for the four sides. We're going to cut the handle part out and we're going to cut the bottom part as well for the inside and the outer part of the bottom base of the box. So first things first, get your cardstock and we're going to use our large guillotine. Now if you don't own a large guillotine, you can do this. A ruler and a pencil, craft knife and a craft ruler if you haven't got a guillotine because of course you can use your glass mat to do your measuring as well. There is measurements on the bottom of the glass mat. Uh, so starting from the zero in this corner all the way across so you can do the measurements on there if you don't have one there's always ways and means i haven't always owned a guillotine can i tell you a lot of my crafting when i first started crafting was done with a craft knife and ruler um never stopped me but of course this day and age guillotines enable us to be able to do things uh, swiftly quickly crisp and concise and of course if you are going for a guillotine today this is a guillotine with a scoreboard in there uh, and also that extra discount that we've been talking about all day uh, right so first things first we are going to measure this at seven and a half inches by five so i've gone up to the top i always tell people because it's always important this little bit make sure this cardstock is pushed up it goes no further it's going to be flush along there a little slight fraction out will make a bit of a difference when it comes to your straight and i hear people tell me hey my guillotine don't cut straight it's nine times out of ten it's this it's this little bit here and the extension on the leg as well make sure you pull that out completely if you've gone for the larger one so we're going to seven and a half inches and take it to that seven and a half inch line snip that down and then by five inches so we've gone for seven and a half by five and we're going to repeat this a further three times so you've got these panels that's one seven and a half five and you want four of these in total so get your cardstock and snip those four pieces so seven and a half inches by five and we'll repeat that again and if i think if you want longevity out of this uh, becky as well your cardstock uh, you can take it onto the short edge go at seven and a half inches by five because Debbie just realised you can get your two panels out of yes. one sheet because that's what I did at home, you silly Billy. Uh, so if you're just catching up with us, <laughs> take your A4 piece of cardstock onto the short side and you'll get your two panels out of one sheet. So in, in theory, the outsides of the box will take two sheets of A4 central repel. So that's your four pieces. And then we're going to cut us bottom part. Now, I'm going to give you the measurement of the bottom part because at the minute you're probably thinking, well, I don't know what the bottom measurement is, but I'm going to give you that. So it's going to, it's going to work out at six and a quarter inches. Okay. Technically six and a half by the time we're doing a scoring, but I'll tell you for why I do um, a slight fraction smaller than the size of the uh, outside box. So I'm going to go to six and a quarter by six and a quarter, and I'm going to strengthen my bottom. Pardon the pun there, <laughs> but I'm going to strengthen it because I want two pieces of this. Squats. Sometimes I can't think of the better way to use it. Um, squats. Who said squats? I don't know. <laughs> Was that you, Becky? Surely do you not. do squats, Becky? Do I? Because like... Oh, I thought, yeah. <laughs> I thought you did. No, I, thought no. I could see you as a very gym buddy kind of person, no? No, I did used to work in a gym, actually. I got free membership due to working in said gym. Didn't use the gym once. I was a personal trainer. Oh, you was a personal trainer? Yeah. And you didn't do any gym? No, I didn't go to the gym. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but oh, we'll delve more as the show goes on, <laughs> Becky. <laughs> right, so we've got four pieces. Only you, Becky, only you. <laughs> um, literally seven and a half inches by five times four and two pieces for the bottom, which literally will sit on the bottom and on the inside there to give me a nice strong bottom. And you can um, add extra layers if you want, depending on what you're going to be doing. Now, 
that's the base and the bottom part taken care of uh, and I think we'll do the handle while we're at it so uh, I'm going to ask you to take another piece of the A4 cardstock that you are uh, using so you've chosen and we're going to cut this down put it on the short put it on the short edge but we're going to take an handle we're going to have a nice strong handle so I'm going to go with a two inch um a two inch strip but I want to take this to um now if I remember rightly I did this at, yeah 11 inches I'm just trying to remember my measurements there but take that to 11 inches and we're going to repeat that because this is a big box I need a slightly bigger handle than normal so two inches by 11 and I might trim that down later but for the time being we're going to take those two pieces and pop those onto our pile so we've got our construction. Um, that's all I'm going to ask you to do for now. So pop your cardstock to one side, save all your spare bits uh, as well, and we can remove our guillotine to one side. You can bring in your scoreboard or you can use your guillotine um, with this as well, but I'm going to bring in the scoreboard. I personally needed a smaller one for this, but can I if you don't find the little one? It's just appeared uh, oh yet my. again. All this well equipped, equipped um, staff room, are we going to say then? Craft room. Right, craft yes. room. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, the yeah. word I was looking yes. for. Yes, staff room. Uh, that's exactly the word I was <laughs> looking for, Becky. Um, but yeah, I can't find the small one. Uh, so I'm going to bring this down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing with this. I am just basically using this as a scoreboard, not as a box lid or a box base. I'm using it as a scoreboard. I'm going to put it on the long edge, Becky. So your seven and a half inches going across. And we're going to put two score lines into place. One at half, a hinge, half an inch, one at seven inches. So, scoring tool. Uh, of course, yes, uh, producer Jerry's just asked me to um, give you that measurement again for the base. Six and a quarter by six and a quarter, okay? And you need two pieces of that. So, going back to this one, on the long edge, we pop our, uh, one of our panels, and we'll re remember we've got four of these, so we're going to repeat this four times. But I'll, I'll show you the first one, and then those who can speed up can get ahead of the game with this one. But we're going to measure in at half an inch, and score down. And a couple of, I always say this, little top tips all the time, just gentle breakage. Um, of your fibres. If you want to go on both sides, you absolutely can. Um, I know our Craig's a big advocate of that, and so it means that you're breaking the fibres on both sides so that you will... Um, do, do, what's the word I'm thinking of? Where diminish where you would get the cracking and the creasing, if yes. that makes any sense. Uh, but I only personally do it on one, but that's my personal choice. If you are of Craig's train, you jump on Craig's train and you can do it on both sides. So half an inch and then seven inch. And again, I'm just going to go down top to bottom. Gentle. I'm not, I always remember the first time I ever used a scoreboard back, I went straight through my cardstock and thought, oh, rubbish, rubbish card. Mm. What I hadn't realised was that the breaking of the, gen, you know, gentle breaking rather than a heavy handed straight down, because mm. you will split the cardstock. So that's, that's the best little top tip we can give you. We're going to go on to that long edge. And then this time we're going to measure and we're going to score at an inch in and only on one side. So not on both. You're going to keep this one because this is what I'm going to do as die cutting. Right. So take it up, make sure it's at the butt of your board again. And we're going to take our scoring tool and score down and again just gently at an inch like so now we're going to repeat those on the other three pieces that we've got left which are those seven and a half by five inch panels so half an inch seven inch on the long edge on the short edge an inch one side only so let's repeat that again this is why I wanted smaller board. Have you noticed I'm trying to, in fact, can I do it this? I'll try and push it down a little bit. Because it overhangs on top of the craft desk that we use. I'm having difficulty because it's getting in the way of um, a couple of things. <laughs> so I'm just, I could do, I could do with a, I could do with a smaller scoreboard if our John is listening. I know he's a very busy today, God love him. But I could have done with a smaller one. Uh, and then I'm going to go back in again and we're going to score down on one side only at an inch. So let's pop that into the groove and gently score uh, like so. And we're going to repeat that on the other two as well. So we'll take another one, half an inch. Seven inch. Half 
and an inch on that um, short side here like this. Oops, that's an inch into it, yeah. There we go. Nearly then, nearly went off mm -hmm. a little bit kilty. And then on our last panel, exactly the same, half an inch, seven inch, and an inch down one side like so. And for the time being, that's all we're going to do with our scoring board. So I can remove the rather large scoreboard onto the floor and I can get on back to business. Oh, a bit tricky that was then. <laughs> now then, we're going to give all of these nice, a nice crisp burnish line on all of the sides. So simply then turn that in. And because I'm using Centura Pearl, you do need to give it a good burnish. Um, so, and if you are using your tool that's in your scoreboard, you just need the flat edge, not the rounded edge. Um, and you're going to just flatten down and score. Or, of course, you can take, if you've got yours to hand, which I normally have mine to hand, which is our scoring tool and you can use your flat burnisher as well if you prefer it's entirely up to you that one um but if you've got your tools you might as well use your tools that you've got in your board um and that's what we're just going to do for the time being and i want you to do that on all four of those pieces so we're going to do all the burnishing on both sides Whilst you're burnishing, Kathy yep. has asked, where do I find the mat that you're working on? So I presume we mean the glass mat. The glass yeah. mat is on our website. Mm. Um, I always, because uh, a lot of people always think a glass mat is just something you work on. Um, ours is quite a useful tool. I've always said this to anybody who's come to visit us and things like that, that we forget this is a tool. It's not just for laying down our cards and having to protect our work surfaces it's an actual tool and you'll see many of us here on the team use it for things like inks for sparkling sparkle pens we scrubble our aqua pens on there pick things up with it we we can do all our inky techniques on there um, i use it for measuring because if you look at the grid on the uh, mats We've got measurements on here. So we've got A6, we've got 6x6, 5x7, A5, six, uh, sorry, 8x8. Eight eight. You've got your half fold of your US letter on here. You've got a crosshair in the centre so you can work on projects. Um, and you've got your inches as well as your half inches increments on there. And that's all the way along. And it's 18 inches in total by 12. So this is a big glass mat. And you've even got your A2 US in this corner here so if you want to do your mat you know your mats and layers you can use this for your mats and layers if you haven't got any of the dyes you know not everybody can get all these things these are things that you build up over the years if you've got a great tool like this um it's absolutely fabulous to use and also if you use a craft knife and ruler like i said it glides beautifully with a glass mat underneath so it's a very multi-functional um glass mat that does a lot of things and lots of sizes if you love scrapbooking 8 by 8 10 by 10 and 12 by 12 you've got all that on there it's a perfect tool it's not just a pretty little thing stick on your desk to protect your desk your work surfaces it's an actual tool it's on the website i can't remember the price i'm not going to lie so just head over to the web price uh, web price website, website. Go and have a little look on there <laughs> and of course take advantage of that add more Save more, Save more basket uh, discounted things that you can get there alongside your club Inspire as well. Um, so all you're going to do, if you, well, I, I can have a little break if you want right now. Just finish off burnishing all your four panels, then we'll come back. All right. That sounds perfect. Thank you. Um, let me tell you something special. Not only have we got that add more, save more today, which if you need to find out more about it, go onto our website. But basically you need one of five codes that will give you either 15% off on top of your Club Inspire up to 20% off. In fact, we're going to show you the uh, sort of sign of it now and you just take a picture of this screen and make sure that you manage to get all of these because this is on anything that you set your mind to so take a picture <laughs> yeah um thank you um and now you know that you can use that today okay so make sure you're making the most of it because 
no one has to pay any full price today. Even if you're not part of Club Inspire, nobody has to pay full prices. And that includes on things like this. We were talking storage before because it's um, Happy New Year to accountants because it's the uh, first day of the new financial year. One of my favorites, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, um, we were talking about that earlier on, and we were saying, uh, you know, organisation is something that people kind of, you know, put their mind to when they're starting off something new. This is a great organisational tool. What we've got here is a large, and this is the large one, die and stamp folder. So with this, it's nice and sturdy. What you are getting is a selection inside. The dies don't come included. It's just there for an idea. But inside, you get a selection of your magnetic pads, basically, pages that go in it. So you're going to get two packs of your magnetic panel, um, which is just going to make your life so much easier. And you can see how storing all of these things are phenomenal. It's such a great one. It saves on you kind of keeping all of your, um, what's it called, that packaging and stuff. It could be a bit bulky, can't it? With this, you don't have to worry about it. And also, you do have the opportunity to open this up and add more panels if you wanted to. So today, 26 98 nobody pays but what do they pay pray tell well with 15 percent off did my maths before in the break um 22 pounds 93 that would be with 15 percent off and that's not including if you're in club inspire that's cool isn't it so we've got that one as an opciano but also i have got for you the smaller version as well i just want to hold them up next to each other so you can see the variation in size there you go um so there is a variation in size as you can see there so the large stamp and die folder here, this one is the smaller version that I've got for you, both available on the show today. So very useful for you to keep your papers peeled for um, the large one and the smaller one. The small one, by the way, is 1998 and um, that is 16, hang on, 16, 98. £16.98 if you use the April 1 code, if this is the only thing you check out. Pretty amazing. But don't forget, if you are platinum or you um, are brand new, you're going to get it for that price plus up to another 20% off. Oh, it's fabulous. Speaking of fabulous, let me show you one of our absolute favorite bits of kit. You will notice that our wonderful craft experts use the Gemini die cutting machine every single day, numerous times a day. And you may well notice that they always talk about the power, right? If you've never worked with a Gemini before, I'm going to give you the opportunity to do so today. And not just own it, oh no, own the special limited edition rose gold version. Now, I do want to make it clear, this is UK only, I'm afraid. 17 in the world left. We aren't going to repeat this. Once it's gone, it's gone. It doesn't, it's not just the machine you get mined. Ah, oh, now you get plates in there, dies in there, embossing folders in there. You get absolutely loads of extra treats. All of this, and we'll see uh, the die quitting machine be used really, really soon um, if you've never seen one used before. But you can be one of just 17 people on this planet to buy this today, and then it's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. So if you do want to seize the moment, 99.99, nobody pays. You should be paying 200 quid. Nobody is paying that price today because, um, well, obviously you've got the big discount. Even with only 15%, you're looking at £84.99-ish, which is epic. So saving way more than you spend on this one today, well worth a go on that one. Let me bring to you, if I may as well, the opportunity to get the midi. Now, I would just say um, there's a few differences in these. The power is the same. The quality is the same. The difference between this and the junior, just in case you're brand new, is the junior you plug in and it sort of automatically feeds it through. This one um, you sort of wind by hand, but all of the power and the quality of it is still exactly the same. You do still get the plates with it too. I'll just grab it out for you in case you've not seen it in real life before. Um, this is your wonderful machine. You get the plates that you need for it. And again, you'll feed your dies through here and it gives you all of that power, but you don't need to plug it in. So we have got, again, a great deal on this for you. But my kind of... Oh, that is unusual. What's any two for mean? 
ignore that bit at the bottom i would i'd ignore that bit um but yeah 69.99 or 89.95 however obviously you're getting that 15 percent off up to 20 percent off on top of your club inspire if you're wondering what i'm talking about with that discount today you have a really special opportunity if you buy one thing you get 15 percent off if you buy up to five things, you get 20% off. Head on over to our website to find out more. So those are some treats for you that we've got today. So do seize the moment on this one. Oh, I love the suction on that one. <laughs> Sounds so good. So if you want to seize the moment on those ones, do grab it. Let me just remind you, um, we're in a craft along right now. So we are working with our fabulous border stamp and die collections, which are quite new to us here. And we've got Debbie creating a fabulous gift basket for us so we've just measured up and cut all our sizes we've scored them down what do we do next so you're going to choose your die you're going to choose which which one it is i've used the uh, bonnie butterflies out of the collection if you've already got these you can use this one if you want or you can use whichever one you want because they're all the same size they all um, apart from maybe a fraction of a point something inch um, but they will all work with this design of this gift basket. So if you love the Love Hearts one, choose the Love Hearts one. If you love the stars, choose the stars. If you love the foil, fo I wish I never said that word now. <laughs> Foliage, uh, use that mm -hmm. one as well. So it's entirely up to you. This has got to work perfectly and there's nothing different apart from the papers maybe you want to change as well. So it's entirely up to you, but I'm using the bunny Butterflies. So you're going to take one of your panels of your sides of your boxes and that straight edge that we talked about, which you'll have got no score line running across the top, is where we're going to put our die. So we're going to pop our die and we're going to place it onto the um, edge like so. Now make sure when you're doing this, I'll just tuck that flap underneath so you can see and, and as you can see with my calculations um, we're going to position it into the center of that panel so use your flaps there just tuck them under um, to get that positioning correct but the car at uh, the uh, the very top edge which is the bit that die cuts so the die cut edge i'll just turn it over so i can explain in case this is the first time you've seen them the die cut edge runs along the top this is what creates that border. The bottom part is the bit that doesn't have an outside cutting raised element, which means it stays connected to the cardstock. So for that reason being, that's why I'm pushing that outside die cutting up to the very top. So again, position it into the center. When you're happy with where you think, you know, you've got the center points and up to the very top, I want you to tape it down with your low tack tape. So get hold of your low tack tape and pop your tape onto there. I'm gonna put one piece on the top and one piece on the bottom so it stops that from moving around. And we're gonna run that through our die cutting machine. Now, um, if you have only got the mini, or the, sorry, the midi, um, which is a nine by six platform, or you've got a junior, this design will work with those machines because the panels that we're using, of course, are seven and a half by five. So nine by six, we're gonna just Get away with Perfect. that. So you can <laughs> use it on your manual machines as well as your electronic cutting machines Great as stuff. well. So all we're going to do then when we release is we're going to take that tape off, pop your tape to one side and release the die. Take care with these. There are quite, um, you know, the very top part is uh, that filigree bit. And when you take that, you can see now it's got that beautiful beautiful die cut element and it really really is and on centura pearl it looks absolutely gorgeous <coughs> excuse me and what it's done is obviously at the minute stay connecting to the cardstock um but what we're going to do is we're going to release that in a moment so you'll need your scissors for this little bit and we're going to take it where you'll see the little straight edges we're going to take our scissors across and cut off this panel okay i'll talk about this a little bit more but i'll just show you what i mean by uh, that so grab hold of your scissors and just for the time being release it because although it's got that lovely curved design we're going to be taking off a panel shortly but for now i just want you to concentrate on getting all of those make sure then your burnish lines are back into position uh, and then get rid of all the little bits that uh, the die is not released and we're good to go and you can see just how beautiful and I'm just going to bring in some dark cardstock so you can see that how lovely it looks and how beautiful it looks when it's die cut out it's absolutely stunning it's just gorgeous so what we're going to do Becky is we're going to repeat that on all four panels lovely. so you're going to take the next panel 
and we're going to do some more die cutting. Now, this this particular design that I've chosen is quite. Um, I'm just doing my spinning and my turning and rotating while I'm being a good girl. <coughs> Excuse me, a cough of mine is lingering, lingering, lingering. I'm just going to take a quick swig of water, Becky. No problem. Whilst you do, Kathy, with an eye this time, is said. And I see where you're coming from, Kathy. I really do. So, is this discount for when you order more than one of the same item? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Because actually, the discount doesn't seem to make sense. Because it's so good. But no, you can buy different things. So, to get 20% off, you don't have to buy like five middies to get the 20% off. <laughs> you could, though. There's a business in that somewhere. Um, but yeah, you don't have to buy the same thing. No, you could literally buy... Um, the lovely borders, you could buy the new um, creator cards, the ribbon threading, you could buy a midi, you could get one of the last 17 juniors and you could get one of these cases and you get 20% off on top of the saving. <laughs> and that's on top of Club Inspire. So if you're already a platinum, you get 20% off and then you get another 20% off. <laughs> You're welcome. Good, yeah, but it's good to ask though, people. It you is. Know, you, you need to understand this, so it's a good shout out. Um, again, our rolls I've done, Becky, is I'm literally repeating the process, and we're going to repeat that on all four panels. So there's nothing different. I'm not doing anything different with this. I'm positioning it in the same place, um, and we're going to do exactly the same on that straight edge where you've got no score line. Position it up to the top, position it in between the centre of your panels, and run it through your machine. And that's all you're going to do with all four sides. We'll come back to doing some more panels later on. But for now, what we're going to do is construct the box, then we're going to do the rest. Great. Um, and we'll come back to those panels later on in the show. We've got plenty of time. We're going to absolutely smash this craft along. Every single one of you are going to get it done, including Amy. I can see Amy busy working away in the background there. Uh, but yeah, absolutely, we're going to we're going to do this, uh, guys. I can feel it in my bones. Sometimes I'm going to rush the last few bits, uh, but I think we're going to we're going to we're, we're quite we're, we're quite on track for this one. So again. All I'm going to do is lift off my tape, release that die again. Remember, take care because it is quite a nice filigree design. Um, and then we're going to just release at both ends like so, just for the time being. And we'll come back to the rest in a moment and I'll explain what we're going to do. So now I've got my two panels and exactly the same. Just make sure your furnishers are back in place. Um, ready for us putting our box together and I'm just going to repeat that on all four of those panels so it's literally a little bit of a repeat process with this one hang on a minute turn over rotate look at me being good mm. for anyone who's new why are you doing that uh, a longevity of your plates these are consumables this is a consumable part of your machine I was talking about this earlier on today Becky I, I have owned my machine because I've been working with a company for six years in July I bought mine in the May before I started working for Crafters Companion, my mm -hmm. Gemini. The only thing that I've ever had to do is change plates. Never had to change my machine. My machine has kept me going year in, year out. And I want you to think about how many times I use my machine mm. for prepping, for using, for personal use, for business use, you know, when I'm working. It's an absolute powerhouse of a machine. Never lets me down. But plates are what we call a consumable, so they will need to be at some point replaced. This is an immense pressure machine. There's no other machine out there on the market that offers you this uh, in electronic die cutting form. So plates, we need to look after them. And so for looking after them, we flip and rotate to get the longevity. Because what that actually does is if you flip and rotate, it kind of keeps them in the nice kind of flat shape. Um, so honestly, it's worth doing. I do do it at home, I'm not gonna lie. At, at work, I'm a little bit of a devil at work because I take it out, I'm too busy talking, forget what I've done, can't remember which way I put it in and then completely forget. Uh, so it's just worth just remembering. And if you want to do the Craig A, B, C, D one, um, I'm pretty sure he'll share with you again. He just marks his plate so it enables him to remember. Um, I have one friend who marks her plates she plates, she puts a little finger so she knows that it should be an even number and that's how she keeps doing it. Me personally, that's too much of a chore for me and I'm, <clears throat> I'm not, on that, uh, not on that one. I like to make crafting easy for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, like I said, it's just a little bit repetitive this bit, but once you've done it, you'll understand um, it's very easy to achieve. Same place, centre, top, run through your machine and we're going to do that again, Becky. I've just thought, say somebody bought today the yeah. Gemini Junior, which by the way, there are now 16 
left in the world. These are limited edition, we aren't buying them in again. This is a one-time deal, a little bit of a special treat in one of the most fashionable metallics of, to be honest, the last 10 years, right? Um, there's only 16 left. But I've just thought a little bit of maths I've got on because you know, lovely Debbie was saying how she's had her machine for like, you know, over six years, she said, didn't you? Coming up to six years. Coming up to six years, sorry. So, if you got this today, and you're brand new, you obviously get 20% off discount, but then you get an extra 15% off, don't you, if you use that code. But let's imagine that for some reason you're not going to sign up to our free club and you just got the 15% off using the code APRIL1. That's going to be 84.99. If this has lasted, lovely Debbie, around six years, that is only about £14.16 a year. That's amazing when you think, isn't it? with how wonderful it is and the power and the technology as well. Yeah, do you know, I never even thought of it like that, Becky. Never thought of it in that way, but absolutely. Um, I've had lots of machines in the past, I'm not going to lie. Um, made a crafter, it's what you do. And then if this machine lets you down, you start looking for the next best thing. Yeah. Um, and I, I'll be totally honest, when I first saw this being demonstrated, I was at a show at Doncaster and I looked and I'm thinking, oh, here we go, another machine, another electric machine. I don't need that. Um, Bear in mind, I've always been a Crafters Companion fan for a very many a year, mm. but I just thought, oh, it's just a Crafters Companion own version of a machine. Yeah, yeah. I don't need it because I've got I've got machines, although not 100% happy with them, I've got other machines. Yeah. Um, and then I saw the demonstrator and she went through, and it, um, when I say demonstrate, all she did was run lots of different dyes, lots of different materials. And the one thing that blew me away was the different amount of materials. And I, I, I always, during every light, light bulb moment, she'd pop on a plate, um, different thicknesses of materials from leather to um, foam to thin metal um, aluminium cans and they were all lined up on a plate and she ran it through and it cut every single one and I thought god my machine doesn't do that at home mm. I need to know a little bit more and I actually walked out of that said fair with my Gemini nice. under arm um, and I have never ever looked back I can promise you never ever looked back and I just love it the only thing that I've ever done is buy the different sizes that's all I've done Gone through, yeah. like, I've got my manual ones now, I've got me, uh, but they all have a job. They all do their own job, mm. literally. Uh, but I can promise you, look after your plates, your machine's going to certainly look after you, um, and again, it's nine times out of ten. I know it sounds daft, but it's, sometimes it's a bit of user error. I've done it myself. The first time I ran it through with a die, I got it down on my magnetic shim and cut a love art. That was the first thing oh, I did when I took right, it like, yeah. oh my days, what have I done? Yeah. And then I had to go and get myself a new rubber mat, although for a bit, um, I actually taped it together. Did you? Together and used it for a little bit, yes, I, until I got hold of me one, because I thought, I'm not wasting this uh, magnetic shim. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. So, but yeah, it's a fabulous machine and it's always, always, well, it, honestly, it never, ever lets me down. That's um, And for that, I'm very grateful. And I always say to Sarah, I just wish it had been around when I first started crafting. It would have saved me a heap of money uh, because I have had a fair few machines in my time. Mm. Right, so, like I said, a bit repetitive this stage. We're just going to do exactly the same where we're going to snip those edges off like so. But what you should end up now with is four pieces, almost identical to be fair. In fact, they should be identical, but you'll end up with four pieces that have got your beautiful border die in all of those places. What I'm going to teach you next, we'll put the box together, but I'll teach you how to uh, get your perfect mat and layers on there as well. And we'll put it together, the box. Um, at the moment, we've got one too many flaps on these and we do need to snip some off. Uh, but I'll explain that a little bit more. Um, I don't know if anybody wants to catch up a little bit for a second or do you want to check in on Amy, see how she's doing? Let people just catch up on that little bit of die cutting and we'll come back very shortly. Just a couple of minutes, come back and we'll carry on. Sounds perfect. Should we see how Amy's getting on? <clears throat> Should we have a little uh, look in? Remind me where Amy is again. Santa Monica. Yeah, I remember now. Um, in California. Yay! Are you Amy? You're right. Yeah, doing well. Just uh, doing the fourth panel. Oh, perfect. You're keeping up. Which um, die did you go for? Have you gone for the same? The Bonnie Butterflies, also. <clears throat> Lovely. Yeah. Why did you go for that one? It's just so springy and um, it's time for Mother's Day soon and I figured it would be a nice thing to give one to my mother, one to my mother-in-law. Oh, that's and I, lovely. And it just seems very California with the butterflies. 
Oh, right, yeah, oh, of course. Well, I never. I never thought of that. Yeah, that's a good yeah, point. isn't it? <clears throat> Have you ever been to Santa Monica, uh, Debbie? Never been to America in my life, so no. no you know, and, and there's plenty of places I, I would love room. to go, but Santa Monica sounds absolutely beautiful. Yes, Amy, you've got a spare room. We're all going to... You gonna... can come visit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it Amazing. looks a beautiful house, can I just say, as well. And it looks like the weather looks really nice outside, too. Mm. We have got um, the lovely Amy in with us crafting along at home. Don't forget, if you are crafting along, do feel free to let us know in the comments and get your pictures in um, whilst you are at it. So we will leave the lovely Amy just to do her final panel now. And whilst we do that, let me remind you boards dies uh, we have got for you that is what we're looking at it's not the only treats i've got on show today mind i've got loads to show you today a up sparkle pens yes thank you the discount on the sparkle pens is absolutely phenomenal genuinely i've not seen a set of sparkle pens for the price that we are going to do them at today but i'll tell you more later um so yes just as a reminder this is the collection we're currently working with you don't have to choose your favorites you're getting all of these within it you get the lovely stamps which of course you can swap and change out to use with different ones if you wanted to and you are getting all of these designs, including the Bonnie Butterfly, which we're currently working with. Um, you are getting them all today for $37.99 or $47.75. But nobody is actually, because if this is the only thing you buy today, say, um, you will get 15% off if you use the code APRIL1. You can get up to 20% off if you buy five items uh, by using April 5. But I just thought I would bear, let you bear that in mind uh, for a moment or two, just so you remember to get using those codes. To find out more, head on over to our website. You'll see it on our home screen. It's well worth making the most of it whilst it is on today. So well done to everyone. Um, are we ready and raring? Absolutely. Should we so carry on? you've got your four panels, Becky. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to, um, to create the box, we need to snip out a little few bits. So just take one of your panels for the time being. We'll come back to the others because we're just going to repeat. It's going to be a repeat process, this again. Um, so, oh, what was, what was that? Amy's got a question. Perfect. Absolutely. Let's have a quick look. Would you like us to cut off these panel, these parts on the side or yeah. leave these tabs? So that's the bit that I was just going to check in with you. So this oh. is this is what it should look like. If I just hold that up, that is what it should look like at the so moment. So when you've took it up to the top and you've die cut it out, just snipped across the top. So that's what they should look like. So, so straight across. Yes. So you just take it straight across. You don't have to leave those side panels up. <coughs> you can take it just straight across. So from where that straight edge is, uh, Amy, just snip it straight across. And yet, fine. You've done it absolutely perfectly. You've just left those two two little panels up at the top. Just snip them going across there, and you're absolutely fine. Lovely. Now, going back to that panel, when I said about when we're going to construct the box, we've got too many tabs or flaps, as I call them, um, down the sides. We need to remove one of them, and we need to be able to shape this where the box will sit really comfortably. So, I'll just move those to one side to show you what I mean by this. I'll do it first on this one. So, if you just want to watch what I do and then, um, you know, repeat that yourself that's absolutely fine but what I'm going to do is can you see this flap here I'm going to take it off and I'm going to use my scissors you can use a guillotine if you want it's entirely up to you but I'm going to use that score line as a guide and I'm going to snip all the way up to the top off so you've got this straight edge and then I'm just going to tilt that go a little bit the way you snip into a, a diagonal part there just to snip off that little edge because that's going to be what holds your bottom base on because when you talk about the terms of where your box is you want a straight edge here, tiny little bit of the corner there, and then on this side, you're going to you need to keep this flap on, so you don't take this one off. You keep this on. The only thing that we need to do is neaten it up to like a box. So I'm going in at an angle again, up to that first score line, like so. And if I just do this first one, you'll be able to see. And then I'm just going to angle it a little bit. So I'm just going to turn it and go a little angle. To that score line again so this is what it'll end up looking like so if i just bring in that dark cardstock and you'll be able to see i've taken off the edge completely i've done a little bit from that score line just in to give it a little neat edge it gives it a nice neat finish when you're doing boxes and bases and things like that and on the other side i've kept this tab on 
flap tab whatever you want to call it but I've just angled it again now when you're tucking this under this is what's going to join your box together and if I just sit it like so you'll be able to see what I mean this is going to hold your box panel together this is going to be what holds your base together so that is how you will end up with all of your four pieces so you remove and I'll repeat it again I'll leave that one there so you can visually see that but I'm going to remove taking my scissors like I said the scissors are guillotine if you're not very good with straight edges guillotine will work beautifully make sure you cut it on that score line and then again angle it just up so it's giving it a little neat finish this tab remains on so this flap stays where it is but what we're just going to do is angle it to that first score line I'm just going to turn that to make it comfortable in my hand and remove that as well so that's how you end up with all of your pieces so this is the second piece because mm -hmm. what you're going to do is we're going to be joining that together now I'm not worried about this little can you see all this like it's higher and then it drops mm -hmm. down lower I'm not worried about that I think it gives it a nice quirky finish to your box and it doesn't look odd when the box is put together mm. so for me we're keeping that little bit on if you want to neaten it up by all means you can do this is your project it's entirely up to you but I'll just repeat that again in fact shall I show you the guillotine way so you can get a, an idea if you are using the guillotine Scissors, guillotine, it's up to you, but all you're going to do, and the best tip I can give you when you're using your guillotine, can you see this outside straight edge? That is the bit that's going to do the cut. The two blades, and I'm not going to put my fingers on it because this is ultra sharp, but the blades will meet together. So whenever you're angling something on, you need your score. So if I'm using that score line as a guide, and I'm just making sure at the very bottom and the very top is where my score line sits before I commit to snipping that off. But that means I've got a precise cut I've not got one key because I don't know about some people, but sometimes I've got little shecks and sometimes my hands can go a little bit. So that little bit can be done with your guillotine if you wish to do so. But we're still going to give that little bit of a snip and we're still going to do that where we angle it up to that first uh, score line, turn it around to make it comfortable in your hand and remove that piece as well. But we've kept that tab into place. So I'll repeat that again. <clears throat> and if you're using your guillotine to do this little uh, piece, and I'll put that there so you can see it a little bit better, Take that score line, sit it on the edge of the outside of that blade, make sure top and bottom line up and snip and you've got that perfect precise cut and that's how you would always look at something when you're using our guillotines if you're not you know if you're not a fan of scissors and you want a nice straight straight edge this is a guillotine this is you know this is top quality guillotine it's not um, you know your little cheap one that you can find in most stores this is an artist quality uh, guillotine and I say artist quality but it's just precise cutting every single time and you can see that look how neat that is neat and probably neater than Mrs. the cutting to be fair Becky however that's what you'll end up with you'll end up with four panels that all look entirely the same where it now will be we're connecting them together and all I will recommend, so we can speed this little process up, is red liner tape will be your best buddy on this one. It's construction and it depends on the weight that you're adding into your box. Uh, but I'm going to use some red liner tape, pop it onto that um, flap there, that tab. Burnish that down and repeat that on all four sides where the tab or the flap lies wherever you know whichever word you choose to use for that and red liner tape <clears throat> I often say this um, I know that our tape pens are super strong glue and super strong adhesive I know they are but this is a construction that we're doing this is a box that's going to hold either something heavy a gift whatever it is so I want to make sure I'm using the for me the super super strong which is this red liner tape it's super strong uh, adhesive and it's my personal preference whenever I'm making a box it is my chosen one that I use I don't use wet glues if you want to use tacky glue absolutely you can do you just need to remember a little bit of drying times involved with that uh, but for me it's red liner tape all the way so I'll show you how we connect this box together so we can um, get on with the construction part so literally now we're going to join that straight edge to the tab now to make sure that it's nice and crisp go back over because we've, we've had it through die cutting machine so go back in and get that lovely nice crisp um, edge and it makes a difference when you're putting your box together have lovely crisp 
uh, burnish lines. So if you just want to go back over them, you'll see you get that lovely neat edge. Can you see when it's been through die cutting machine, it can sometimes uh, lose its crispness. So I'm just going to do that, repeat that on all four of these. And it'll make a difference when you're putting it together and how it sits and how it lies and how it holds the stuff. I, I promise you, it's all about those burnishing uh, pieces that make such a difference when you do any of your finished cards or projects. And we talk about this, I know Leanne talks about it a lot, it just gives you a really lovely neat finish. So I'm going to now just join those two together. So taking off your tape, now and that I did tell earlier on about you could put a little bit of wet glue into place to give you a little bit of wiggle time. However, I'm quite comfortable in taking that and you want to make sure before you actually commit to sticking that down, make sure that the bottom score line of your box lines up side by side and that the straight edge lines up flush and before I actually just press really hard, I always do a little bit of a visual and I just turn it over to make sure it's nice and neat. I can see that's nice and neat. Quite happy with that connection. And I'm just going to give that a little bit of a burnish, just using my fingers. And you can see you've got a really nice crisp edge there. And it makes such a difference, Becky. These little top tips that we like to share with you do make such a difference. And I promise you. When we get this box together, you'll see what I mean by that. So again, take the next panel, take off your tape strip. So we'll take that off. We're going to use that side edge again. And if you have used the guillotine, you'll notice a difference between the guillotine onto the edge. Absolutely crisp, even cut um, and makes such a difference. But again, make sure you're lined up. And again, before I actually commit to sticking that down, and I always make sure I do this, Becky, it's something I've just, I've just learned because I know red liner tape is so strong that if I commit now to burnishing that down, I'm going to not be able to shift it. So before I actually do that, I'm just going to flip that and turn it, make sure, yep, nice and neat, happy with that. Another little burnish. I'm just going to tuck it underneath give it its final little burnish just to make sure that everything is nice and neat and nice and flush and I'll turn that round and you can see again nice flush finish so again taking this straight edge to the last panel exactly the same process so you're ending up with quite a long panel but it's the box formation of your box um, <clears throat> and we're going to go in take your red liner tape and repeat that process so we're going to line up we're going to check so again, I'm just going to flip that, reverse it. Yep, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and burnish. And then just finish that last little burnish, touching. It just makes a difference, I promise. It really, really does. So now what we've got are four very long pieces, all joined together. And lastly, what we're going to do is join these two. Now, this is the easiest way that I do it. And that's why I said about having those burnishing, you know, crisp lines make such a difference because now I'm not having to do anything because it sits neatly on there because I've got all these parts right. And I, I, I honestly, genuinely, it's things you've learned. Over the years, you learn how to do these little things. Um, and I promise you, it just makes it so easy. And again, I'm just going to line that up to the bottom Give that a little finish, burnish, turn it in on itself, just finish that burnish line. And there you've got the box base. If I just lift it over the time being, you'll be able to see. But can you see how neat it is, all those edges, having those crisp burnish lines make a huge difference. And already you can see it taking shape. These are now going to sit underneath because we're going to pop our bases on the bottom and on the inside as well to create that box panel so shall we let everyone just catch up there before we do that and then just just to make sure everyone's got that bit together make sure you've got crisp neat score, score lines burnished line it up and I promise you, you, it will take form and you will be able to craft it in the same way that I've just done that very easily if you just follow those simple few, few simple rules. I love it. Thank you so much. If you do want to treat yourself to these, it was lovely. Is it Alicia? Alicia it is. Hi, Alicia. I'm saying, oh, I haven't seen these before. Are they new? They launched on the 7th. So you might have missed them because it was, what, until the day? Wait, 7th did they launch? Yeah, 7th of March. No, 5th. 
Oh, yeah, some of the marshmallows last month, wasn't it? Um, but, yeah, you might have missed them. They are quite new to us, the collection. You've got the border stamp and dies that we are working with at the moment. These are your lovely different designs to choose that you get in this bundle. Dancing stars, classic swirls in the foliage, cute florals, bonnie butterflies and your love to you. And um, just to let you know as well, if you have just tuned in, um, Alicia, we have got a special deal on today, which is add more, save more. Which means if you only check out one thing today and you use the code APRIL1, you can get 15% off. But check out, if you check out five things, you can get 20% off. And just let you know it's on top of whatever you are on Club Inspire. So say you're platinum and you get five items today, you, it's like you're getting sort of 40% off really. So just worth bearing that in mind. Let me tell you <clears throat> as well, I've got for you today our, uh-oh, 15 left on the planet for our rose gold Gemini Junior. This absolute beauty is the colour in sort of modern homeware. This is the colour, the metallic of this season and actually for the last couple of years. There are literally 15 left on the planet. It is UK only. You don't just get the machine, you also get obviously the plug, you get the plates you need, you get dies, you get embossing folders, loads of extra treats. But don't let me forget, I know you're saving £100 already, but even if this is the only thing you buy today, you'll also get an extra 15% discount if you type in April 1. So um, you'll be getting it for just 84 99 which is epic, saving more than you spend. So do seize the moment on that because it's literally 15 in the world left. And once they're gone, we're not doing like a new batch of them. This was a one-time thing, limited edition. Treat yourself whilst you can. So do feel free to grab that um i've got um lovely alicia in um asking um is amy from facebook or youtube good question Ooh. amy are you normally a facebooker or a youtuber i watch it on the website later um ah. sometimes on youtube and then i catch up on social media from craft from crafters companion on instagram I see. So it may well be YouTube that you've seen a name popping up then. Alicia was, I love that. Alicia just checking that out. Um, so yes, you may well recognise her. Um, okay, shall we dive on back into it? Let's do it. I'm with you, Debbie. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put our bottom, bottom together. We're going we're gonna to add our bottom to the box, our base to the box. That's the way, right way I'm going to go with it. I don't um, see what's wrong with putting bottoms together. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds now, fine to if me. if you position it this way around when you normally put it on, I want you to remember you've got a, a, a beautiful, delicate die cut there. So the danger is if you do it that way is that you can end up damaging. So I'm mm. going to turn it to its side. And I'm going to ask our Charlotte just to do a, um, a side view just so I can show you what I'm going to do with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop and I lay it flat. I'm just going to put a bit of tape uh, whether it be red liner tape or uh, tape pen for this, it doesn't really matter because we're going to strengthen that bottom with those extra panels. So for this, I'm going to use um, our tape pen. And I just want to literally just form that together. So I'm just popping a little bit in either of the corners. If I just try and flatten that to show you what I mean, I'm just popping some into the corner. Don't worry if it goes over. Don't forget we are covering that bottom part up. But what we want to do, and that's why I've turned it that way to show you, is so that we're just going to sit this and we want to try and form a nice square piece you know sometimes when you put these together what can happen is that it can get, kind of go off a little bit rather than a square mm. so if you do it in stages it makes it a little bit easier and you can visualize it so i can by holding this in my hand i can see that that is nice and flat and it's going to work perfectly so for the same respect in that side i'm going to just turn that on this side as well so i'm going to take i'll tilt it so i can show you what i mean i'm going to put a bit of glue here and a bit of glue here um, and again like i said our strong adhesive tape pen is fabulous don't forget we yeah, have 25 different tape pens that she went through before she was happy with this super strong adhesive 22 meters 22 meters 
I know that there are tape pens out on the market and I know because I've bought them in the past and they've only had something like between anywhere between five to ten meters on there 22 meters of super strong double-sided adhesive um, that's why I always use ours and that's why I know a lot of people exactly the same now when you're holding this down you can see now I've got a really nice square and that's just because I've done it in stages rather than rushing and trying to get it all done um, and trying uh, it's the easiest way to do it and if I just turn that there you can see it's the perfect square you so you're not going off just by taking your time and doing one part at a time makes such a difference Becky it's all about that little finishing touch sometimes we can't explain that when we're doing a demonstration but it's lovely that we can do that on a craft along but you can see now I've got a really firm square there if I just tilt it there so I lovely Charlotte can show you because I've taken the time to put that together, I now know that that is a perfect square for the bottom of my box. And now my six and a quarter, and it, it does measure at six and a half. Uh, <coughs> six and a half. I've just seen John's just fetched me a coffee in, and his little eyeballs got drawn to the chocolate. It's for me. It's for me. It's for me grandkids. But since you lend me a coffee, you can take one. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's okay, Johnny. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> He made me me a coffee, so I've let him have one. I've let him have a look at his little face. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Johnny, I'll let you have one. I'll let you have one. Look, look at this little face. <laughs> oh, there he is. Look at him. <laughs> I promise you, but I promise you, Becky and Charlotte can all have a Dell, but just don't tell anybody yes. else. All right, okay, don't we'll keep it our little secret. Be all in for some. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> We have now been enabled, we can actually put our box base in. So I'm going to start with, and I know you might think this is a little bit back to front, but I'll explain my method behind my madness. I'm going to pop the inside panelling first, which I know probably thinking, you are, <laughs> what are you doing that for, Debbie? Um, which just makes life easy for myself. I like to make crafting easy for myself, Becky. I don't know about yourself, but um, I do like to make life easy for myself. So I'm using our tape pen all the way around on all four sides. I'm actually... Um, you can put some glue on the inside bit, but just remember for this particular stage, I'll do it on the second panel, not this panel. The reason being is that if I pop it on the inside, it's liable to stick to my yes. glass mat and get a little bit sticky and messy. And that's the last thing we want. So let me just remove my uh, waste parts. Uh, but I'm just going to slide that in. Now you can, of course, use wet glue as well. Uh, but what that enables me to do now is put that in. I did say that it measures the inside is like six and a half, but it's a tight squeeze. So I've just taken that quarter of an inch off and it means that I've now got that lovely base and again, I've got my bottom ready and it's again, it's strengthening it up each time that you do this. I am actually going to use um, some all-purpose for this one. If you want to use red liner tape, you can do, um, but all glues have their own job. This dries like cement, I'm not going to lie, it's absolutely fabulous glue. Mm. Leanne calls it the best glue in the world because she absolutely fab. uses it tons mm. and tons of time when she's crafting. We do have that on offer today as well if you fancied it, a big glue bundle that includes two of them. So that's positioned into place. I'm just going to turn that over and I'm going to stick that down and I'm going to put the pressure from the inside of it as well. Again, if you try to do it that way, I'm liable to damage the um, delicate features here because if you put pressure on from the outside there, you've got that lovely delicate piece that you can see die cut at the bottom. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to turn that over and I'm just going to put the pressure and I'm going to let that dry. So I'm just going to run across my hand all the way along so that I'm covering the inside box and the outside box and enabling that to dry. If you are using red liner tape, it's instant. If you are going to use red liner tape, I recommend that you pop a little bit of the wet glue, so the whole purpose, over the top of the tape so you've got that wiggle room to get it into the perfect position. And the reason I've chosen that, like I said, the six and a quarter inches, I could have gone to six and a half, but if you, if you haven't got your square right, this is less forgiving. So that's why I've done a six and a quarter inch square bottom rather than the six and a half. But the actual measurement of that measures at six and a half inches um, square so there you go you've actually constructed your beautiful um box like I so i love it and it just looked beautiful when you take a look from that side side view it just looks absolutely gorgeous so what we're going to do now 
me telling you that we're going to get it all done. We are going to get it done. I promise you we're going to get it done. We're going to do some decorating using your papers. I want you to choose your papers. I've chosen um, the solid. I've gone for the Spring Fever Solid and the Spring Fever Paper Pad. There's some beautiful papers in here. I'm going to show you that next stage on how to get your perfect mats and layers. Um, choose the colour that you want to use. Shall I go with pink or shall I go with a different colour this time? Uh, no, I'll stick with my pink. I quite like my pink. So I'm going to take out the lighter pink as my matte and layer. And then I'm going to go in and choose. I love that pattern. just think it's really quite spring-like. It's beautiful. Um, but look at all the papers that are in here. I'll just give you a little flick through. You choose. If you've gone for this one, you choose. I mean, look at that daisy one. Isn't that fresh? You could use the blue one, the, the blue 8x8. Eight eight. Um, the reason why I've chosen... Uh, the spring solid as well as the spring uh, fever pad is that um, they match and if you take a look that blue matches that blue perfectly the pink that I've just chosen works beautifully so they're all they're all designed to work alongside each other and of course you've got gorgeous designs in here some lovely fresh designs some lovely uh, different designs in there it's entirely up to you which ones you use um, have you noticed all the love heart ones gone if you're using the love heart design you've got the love heart in there you could use that with the red um but our paper pads being stripped of that lovely red <laughs> so i'm going to choose that um beautiful pink and again Look how lovely they match. Look really lovely together. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. And I'm going to show you how to use your die and how we're going to use our die to create that perfect. And if I just bring this in for a second, slightly difficult to tilt, but I'll, I'll tilt it with our oak chocolate for the now. In fact, thank you very much, Charlotte. Can we show that front view? I'm going to show you how you get that lovely matte and layer using your die so you don't have to worry about it. You might need a pencil for this little bit. Go grab yourself a pencil and come back and join us for that next stage. Perfect. Whilst you're grabbing a pencil, how about I bring you some pens? And not just any old pens, incredible Spectrum Noir sparkle pens i mentioned this is genuinely like the best deal i've ever seen on sparkle pens i'll explain more later these are the colors you're going to be getting so you've got your wonderful antique collection i've got your earth naturals i've got your essential brights i've got your tint and tone and i've got your clear pens as well now if you've not seen these before they are water soluble glitter pens which means that you can create wonderful color enhanced sparkly designs time and time again that you can have a lot of fun with and play with. They look great just in the colour, but also check out the sparkle. Can you see that? Oh yeah, you can. Look at that wonderful sparkle that we've got. So these are all of the colours that you're going to get in that collection. I said how great the deal was because yes, you have got a big saving. You're saving like um, 15 pounds nearly or nearly $20. But don't forget that if you only buy these today and you use 15% off code, you'll get it for uh, £42.50. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Or, or $55.24. Love it. That's great. But what if you get five items and you check it out? What then? £34. That's amazing, isn't it? If you do want to get that discount, now is your time to make the most of it because that is incredible, um, let alone if you're platinum as well. So I'm going to give you a moment to check out your baskets. I'm going to give you the chance to catch up with the craft along. We'll be back in a few minutes. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. 
So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafter's Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Hello and welcome back to Crafters TV. How is your crafting going? You having a good time? Um, we have had so many treats on the show for you today. We've had the midi on with that fabulous discount. We've had the rose gold Gemini Junior. Only 15 of those left just to let you know. And also whilst I'm mentioning it, you do get the plates with this. I mentioned the dies before, but I was thinking about the other one, um, the white one. So with this, you get the plates that you need, your battery pack, battery pack. What, what is this like the, the 1940s? Oh, please do plug it in with your battery pack. Uh, you do get your lead for this to plug it in as well, but it is UK only just to let you know that. We have also had for you the fabulous creator cards, which are your ribbon um, dies as well. I'll tell you more about them. But the focus of our craft along today is all about the border stamp and dies. These 24 element, this 24 element collection is absolutely packed full of goodies that can create all year round cards. You've got lots of different sentiments in here, which you can swap out with other cards dependent. I'll give you the names of the types that you're getting. So you've got here dancing stars. I've also got for you your classic swirls. Then I'm bringing to you in the foliage. We've got cute florals, bonnie butterflies, which we're working on now, and love to you. If you do want to seize the moment on these, you're saving 20%, but also if you have just tuned in, cool, what a treat I've got for you today. You have also got the opportunity to get a further up to 20% off. And that is on top of wherever you are in Club Inspire. So say you're already a Platinum and you buy five items today and you use that code, you will get your 20% Platinum discount plus the April 5 20% discount code as well. So it's well worth seizing the moment whilst that deal is lasting today. Do get your hands on it. Um, so let's get ready to decorate, shall we? Let's go. Right, so we've chosen as papers. Um, I'm using two of the plain pink and two of the patterned, and I'm going to keep these for the handle later on. So that's why I've chosen three of each. Uh, but first things first, we need to just cut these down a little bit. I don't want you wasting your cardstock. Um, so we're going to just trim these down. This is from the 8x8 pads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down. I just realised I've ripped mine out of my pads, so I've got a little bit pink missing. Uh, but I'm going to trim these down to about four inches like so and I've got a couple there uh, and because of obviously being eight by eight I know that that's also four inches too uh, and I'm going to do exactly the same with the patterned paper so I've got two sheets there pushing that underneath 
and I'm cutting through two pieces at the same time as well so you can see there and I'm going to take that down to the four inch mark. Now I did say for this bit we're going to use a pencil to help us and guide us but just for the time being I'll just put that there um, we're going to use these and and let me just tell you as well we'll be able to probably cut through two pieces at the same time. So what I'm going to do is and I want you to think about this the only bit that I'm really wanting is the curved factor for um, and if I just bring this into vision again Charlotte if I can just show them what I mean I want it to fit can you see that pattern and the plane I want it to go through now you could take a pencil and try and do it yourself but pff, I'm not into that either I want to make crafting easy for myself so I'm going to use my die as a little guide but I don't want to cut the decorative panel now you can if you want to use this for paper piecing absolutely you could chop but you'll just need to extend your cardstock to a little bit longer than four uh, but I'm just taking can you see where the curve goes mm -hmm. I'm just taking it up to that end so I'm just going to put it in position so you can see it I'm not going over I'm just going at the top there and I'm going to cut through two pieces so again you can see that that curve because that's the bit that I'm wanting to add to my box so I'm taking it up to the top I'm going to hold it down with some low tack tape don't be frightened thinking that you're going to ruin your plates with the die cut going into there I promise you it won't um, pop that on I'm holding it into place I'm cutting through two pieces with this one uh, and I'm going to run that through our die cutting machine again like so now the only bit that i'm looking for is the curve the top part of it or the little bit that's got the butterflies on if you were doing this with an extended so you perhaps cut it to five inches but you probably have to use a bit more cardstock unless you went to a bigger paper pad but what i'm looking for is not the decorative panel it's the plain panel so if i just take off my tape and i'll show you and this this is just a, a little again another little tip in how you can get your matching um pieces your patching cardstock to match the shape of your die because i'm not looking for this becky i'm looking for this so what i'm just going to do to show you what i mean is take it out again that straight edge up to that straight edge and if you want you can separate these because I'm not worried if it's cut through there that's not what I'm after I'm after this bit here so I'm going to take my little snippy scissors and I'm going to remove that decorative feature with my little snips and follow that curve around and just remove them and that's all you're going to do because that's the design that I'm after which is that curve now you can neaten off that edge, use your bigger scissors, little scissors, whatever makes you feel comfortable. But that's the bit that I'm looking for. And the bit that I'm like thinking, oh, well, it's not, well, to be fair, it has die cut through it. That's the power of the Gemini. Again, I'm not looking to use that, uh, that panel piece. I'm looking for the curve that's going to give me that matte and layer feature. And again, I'm just going to snip that off, snip off those ends and take that to that very end like so. Now, if I just remove those for a second, let's just move that to, to one side. I'm going to bring in back in this piece. And now when you're doing this, can you see that you've got that lovely curved feature? Let me see if I've got that the right way around, Becky. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to position it on and we're going to use it. So we're going to drop it down a little bit. And I just, just finish this off a little bit because it's um, a, bit, a bit rough around the edges. So I'm just going to take my scissors and follow that around like so yeah that's better that's a bit smoother let's see if that's a nice smooth finish as well no that's a bit crinkled so i'm just going to go back in you can always go back in afterwards once you've taken the pieces out you can always go back in i think i'll use my medium scissors can you see all the scissors have got their own use the mm. snippers the large scissors which by the way have measurements on there if you've never seen our scissors before uh, but all scissors have got their own job they all do their own thing so again and we're going to repeat that on the next two and we're also going to repeat it on the pattern paper as well so if you want to be pushing that forward you can do but i'll just show you what we're going to do like i said taking your box and again if you want to make life easy for yourself before you construct it you can actually put your panels on there uh, but i'm just going to position it and if i just angle that get your pencil 
and then just give yourself little markings so you know where you're going to be snipping down do it in two stages though don't try and do all three at the minute and by that i mean take off these two side panels we'll go back to our guillotine we'll use our pencil mark and i'm taking it up to that very edge and i'm going to repeat that on the other side as well and it actually measures at like the six and a quarter but when i take it onto there it means now I've got somewhere to work from so that I can see where I'm going to pop my pencil marks without trying to confuse things, doing it all at once. And again, it's just little tips that you can learn, you know, you can pick up. But again, I'm going to use this. If you've done this before you put your box together, again, you can make life easier for yourself. Absolutely, you can do. Uh, but I'm just going to position it. I'm going to give it a little marking either end. Quite happy with that. And then I'm going to line that up onto my guillotine using the guillotine again where my pencil marks are snip that down you can always rub your pencil marks out afterwards which is why i use a pencil but you've created yourself that lovely mat and layer that fits beautifully on there now i don't want you to stick these down just yet because i want you to do is cut up your four pieces of your four plane and then we're going to repeat that with the pattern as well so it's a little bit time consuming this bit but again it's worth it when you get that neat finish if you're very good at doing it by hand, I'm going to say, well done, because I can't do it by hand. I prefer to use the die. So I've got my two panels, and I'm going to repeat that on this one as well, and then the same on the other, if, you, if, if that makes sense, Becky. Mm -hmm. Drop it down a little bit. So if I hold that visually, you can see. Drop it down a little bit. Pencil mark where your ends are. And I'm just going to hold it so I can visually see that, that I've got that nice and neat. And then take off the edges and then repeat that with the bottom marking as well. So I'll do exactly the same again. Bring it back in the guillotine. Do this with a craft knife if you haven't got a guillotine. Absolutely you can. It's a very easy thing to do. Um, but it's just the easiest way to get that perfect mat and layer. don't know if you can tell, but Becky, do you know where the die has been you can actually see the marking of the die you could use that as a tip if you didn't want to use the pencil method you could just use that die cut and that guide of where you're going to cut it apart from obviously here because we don't want we don't want to shorten that bit but i'm just going to position that back on and then i'm going to do exactly the same where i use that and mark it I'm going to risk it, going to risk it, that one. Uh, but um, literally mark that and you've got, again, that perfect mat and layer that sits inside that panel. So we're going to repeat that, Becky. Don't know if you want to read out any comments while we're doing that. I can do, yeah. Are you all right there, Becky? <laughs> yeah, I've just got uh, me tablets having just a minute. Is it, having a, mi is it having a moment? Yeah, it's left itself out. Bless um, it. Um, Alicia... Is it Alicia or is it Rachel saying this? Um, about your chocolates. It's okay, Debbie. I have one last Ferrero Rocher. So I'm okay, she says. Oh, Ferrero Rocher. Got them left over from Christmas. I love Ferrero Rochers. I feel like Ferrero Rocher is just like a very special occasion. Chocky, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty expensive. Uh, for oh, Rush, they're aren't just they? beautiful. Um, you know the very well known um, shops that sell things for a. Uh, huh? okay. Yeah, oh, I can't yeah. remember what they're a called, pound. but yeah. Yeah, those, those kind of stores. Yeah. Um, they have three. You buy three for a pound, as in like three in a little packet. Have you ever if you've noticed that, Becky? Uh, do you frequent those kind of stores? I have, yeah. Yeah, I have. So they have like three in a like a little yeah. packet. One pound. One pound. Nice little treat in it, though, three of those. I work I it out that about four and a half cents for each one, so it takes right. me a little bit over my sins, but, but nice treat, nice treat. And who Blimey. else? Nibbles off the nuts nibbles the chocolate then goes down to the casing and then engulf that gorgeous chocolate center yeah Ooh, get so excited oh yeah repeat the process becky so we're just going to make sure that i've taken it up to the very end like so and i think that looks straight enough and we're going to repeat that process do it with two pieces to speed that process up and i'll do that I'll, I'll i'll run the plain one through and then i'll run the pattern one through we can run two pieces of the pattern at the same time and repeat that process and exactly the same where we're just going to get that perfect matting and layering inside there lovely alicia's in saying um it's the great crafters chocolate hunt yes. <laughs> yeah let's get hiding some of them chockies <laughs> i don't 
I'm going to have to watch charge. John, you know, now he's spotted him. Now he's spotted them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Watch him, you know. Yeah, yeah, I am. yeah. Uh, now, I'm just going to put that to one side because what I'm going to do is, and I'll just flip and rotate the plates. Um, I'm going to show you exactly the same two pieces of your patterned cardstock. Possibly, maybe able to get three. I'm going to stick with the two, but we're going to repeat that process. So, we're going to take it up to that curve and we're going to hold that down with some low tack tape and repeat the process. So a little bit down there, a little bit on there, and run that through. And this gives you like two panels in every one go. Like I said, bit, I said time consuming, but it's worth it when you get those perfect mats and layers. It's worth doing it, it's worth sticking with. Don't stick them down yet though, because we do need to do a little bit of stamping. Do it before you stick down. Because if you try to do what Debbie did when she realized when she was doing her craft along, I realized I hadn't stuck, put my stamp on there. And then caused myself a little bit of a problem because have you ever tried stamping <laughs> on a project like this? It's difficult to say the least. So before you stick all those bits down, make sure we've got these panels all cut and we'll do it before we stick down. So again, I'm just going to flip and rotate my plate. So that was that side, that side, that side. See, I'm being so good, Becky. Oh, I'm being... Because Tracy, can I tell you a secret? Tracy, Go on. Tracy gave me some new plates yesterday. Oof, she's a good one. Um, not that I'm dobbing her in anything, but found me a new set of plates. Because uh, I, I do like to do this at home because, uh, look, and I've been using these since yesterday. Nice, nice and straight they are. So it's mm. worth doing flip and rotate. We know we bang on about it a lot, but it was really worth doing it. Um, because I don't want to replace my plates every two minutes. I want to keep the longevity going for them. So for me, an absolute must have. Do that, you get most out of your plates. And I promise you, pressure in that machine is going to see you right. So if you're going for that rose gold jewelry today with that extra discount, oh my days, you're in for a treat. And we know that there's been a few people that have bought today as well. We do. So, yeah. been left and in the world. you're not joking when you say, Becky, we're not bringing it back out again. No, no. Once not. it's gone, it's gone. And when we're telling you the figures that we've got left, that's absolutely the figures. If you've had your eye on it, it's not going to be around for much longer. And mm. especially while you've got that fabulous discount on, I think it's well worth um, thinking about. Now I'm going to speed this up because I'm going to hold both together, but I'm going to make life easy for myself. I probably could have got away with three there, three, maybe, possibly even four. Uh, but what I'm going to do, Becky, is just release again. Release my papers, and I'll do it on that side so you can show you what I mean. And then we're just going to take off that decorative element again. So if I just show you, You've got your um, bend there, release those pieces, just take your scissors, go around them, and you get that lovely, lovely neat feature. And I promise you it makes life a little bit easier when it comes to doing your matting and layering. Lovely. So again, I'm just gonna release. And I do that the same on this side as well. And don't worry about some of these side bits because we're not going to be using any of it. It's going to get snipped away soon. All we want to do is get that curve going. So take your scissors, follow that curve around. And if I just speed this up a little bit to show you. All I'm doing is releasing, removing the decorative feature. following that curve all the way around that lovely neat finish and I've got all my panels all of them done and what we're just going to do now is we're going to use these to do the matting and layering so with that one rather than having to measure the box you've now got your panel where you can measure it up yourself so you can measure that up you can position it and that's why I say do it when it's stu not stuck down it makes life a lot easier Take your pencils and measure and do exactly the same. We're just going to snip. And I do it with each one of the panels, Becky. So take your panel, look for your pencil mark, stick down, release those two bits on the side. And then going back to that panel again. Now what I'm going to do is just measure. And I'm going to position it before I do that and measure both ends, snip away, 
and there you've got the perfect panel with a perfect mat and layer every single time and you're just going to now stick that down and you can see that perfect absolutely perfect and that's just by using the die if you've got pencil marks on just remove your pencil marks but what we're going to do now is just stick it down i am going to use my all purpose for this so i'm going to pop that on when i've undone the top and got rid of the glue that's dried up over the top we do have but an offer on six pack of glue it includes two of these if you want it so literally glue spread stick and we'll do the stamping in a moment it depends on how many panels you want maybe you just want to pop it on one side but just give that a nice spread down if you do want the glue the glue deal is on your screen right now don't forget nobody really is paying 20 pounds or 35 dollars because if you use the code april one and it's the only thing you check out today you get 15 percent off that oh you could get up to 20 percent have a look on the website to find out more and again, just repeat that, Becky. So we've done it with the two, and you're going to repeat it with all four sides. So I'm going to measure it on. I'm not sticking it down. I'm measuring it. When I'm happy with the amount of the mat and layer I want, and I'm just going to position that a little bit closer. Pop your pencil mark on. Use your guillotine. Or your scissors. Depends on how straight edges you can do, but guillotine, obviously... Did you say this was the Get It Got It Good deal? The mini Get It, yes, the mini guillotine. Yes. And you get the, so, three. Which is what I'm using right now. That's two, the smaller one. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, get absolutely. two um, Centura Pearls as well with it. With it as well. 20 Amazing. Sheets, and they're free with it too. Amazing. And, and you've so, obviously used Centura for the body of yours, so you're kind of getting that for free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Absolutely. And then again, I'm just going to pop on my tape, sorry, my glue, not tape, this is glue, um, and I'm going to stick that down like so. And again, the perfect mat and layer, pop that into place. When you're happy with it, the wiggle time gives you the wiggle, pop that on and stick that down and then let that dry. And again, I'm just going to repeat that with the last two pieces. And you'll end up, so I'm going to have to go back with my main piece first, so the main pink piece first. We're just going to repeat the process that we've just done. So it's exactly the same. So take your time with this bit. You can use, um, like I said, that die edge if you want to, or you can simply use a pencil with your um, guillotine. Make life easy for yourself. Debbie went a little bit off there, but uh, make life easy for yourself. There we go. And again... I'm just doing all of this process and I'm going to repeat it on the, uh, for the other pink one and then use the pattern one when, it's da when you've got the pink one done. Makes life a lot easier for yourself. And again, use that guillotine as your edge. So I'm just going to do that the same with the other one. Pop it on. Place it into place. Position. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So that one, that one. That way around, Debbie. Hmm. There we go. Don't forget, if you have got any questions for Debbie, you can message them into us on our social media pages. Um, let us know if you're getting involved with the craft along as well and how you're doing. We'd love to hear from you. How's Amy doing? Have we checked in with Amy? We're going to, yeah. Should we check in now? Yeah, go on, let's interrupt her halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hi, Amy, yeah. you're right. I am cutting my pieces, my pattern paper. I chose the, I um, chose paper from the paper library, the Mother's mm -hmm. Day section in the, in the, um, the library paper, the paper library, the purple. I know the yes. big folder. The yeah. big folder. Yeah. There was a whole section of Mother's Day type papers, so I chose a solid pink, and then I chose this, which was. From oh, there. I love that one. That's beautiful. That's oh my really, goodness, I can't really wait useful. to see this when it's finished. It. I, I can't wait to see it when it's finished. I, obviously, papers change the whole idea of a, bo of a box. So I can't wait for you to finish that. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that turns out for you, Amy. Absolutely. How are you finding the craft along so far, Amy? It's great. It's so much, it, it's really good because it's, it's helping me to do something that I would have been um, a little leery of doing on my own. Yeah. Like step oh, by you. step help and yeah. guidance. Yeah, thank oh. you. 
Oh, that's really good. I will let you carry on with that. Um, don't forget, if you do have any questions for Debbie um, or you need a little bit of help while you're crafting along, do so feel free to message us in. If you're watching in the UK and it is 39 minutes past three and 20 eight seconds then we are currently live so you can get those messages into us and don't forget if you're purchasing from our website you can treat yourself to 15 percent off as a minimum today all the way up to 20 percent head on over to our website to find out more how are you getting on debbie all right my lovely yeah i'm just um i've just literally just repeated the process for each of the panels that's all we're doing so i'm just literally gluing these down now and then they're ready for us to stamp on use the ones that have dried or the ones that have been over the other side which are drying uh, to do the stamping on um but i'll fetch that because we have got that lovely border but you've got the stamps in there to just finish off what you want to say to someone whether it be a happy birthday um Whichever stamp design you've used, actually, whichever one you've used, it'll, every one of them has got a different stamp to it. It's not the same generic stamp all the way through. It's a different one. So to be fair, you could use some of the other designs with them, you know, if you wanted to. Uh, but again, just means that you've got that lovely matte and layer. And any pencil marks that are on, that's always why a working pencil, we can completely rub off. So I've got my four panels that are going to sit now into the box. And before we do the stamping, so I'm going to leave it a couple of minutes to dry. Mm -hmm. We'll go back to that handle. Okay. We're going to attach um, some paper to the handles as well. So I did say we've gone for a bigger handle than standard. Because if I was to use just one of the strips, can I show you how daft it looks? Can you see that from the side view? It's not big enough. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It needs to be bigger because this is a bigger project, which is why we've cut two strips. So. Actually, do you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to Go use on. my glass mat as a little indication. Can you see where you've got your half and your yeah. inches? Yeah. I want you to put some tape onto there. So red lining tape because this is a handle. So I'm going to use a, a thicker one this time, Becky. Let me bring in my thick one. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring in a thicker piece. Now don't worry about this join because we are going to be covering it up with some of the papers as well. So um, I'm going to pop a little piece just onto there. that little burnish and I did say I was going to use my glass mat can you see where I've popped it into that um, half it's like into the half uh, an inch because yes. these are inches yeah um, I'm just going to use this line it all up take off my tape just get that off for a second come on you little devil you, you know got you it. want to come oh. I love red line of tape but it's a little okay. pain in bum sometimes um, and I'm just going to line that up I know that that's nice and even and take that on and it, again it's a little tool why not use it while you've got it and that joins those two pieces up and then just give it a little curl with your fingers or your bone folder because you want to form it into the shape of an handle however we need to cover it up we need to cover up some of this but if i just show you what i mean because we're going to stick those down onto the inside if i just show you now can you see that's better looking handle. bigger handle better handle for that mm. um and again i suppose it depends on the size that you want but um we're going to stick it on the inside but we need some decoration first so those spare bits that we've got the spare two sheets we're going to cut this down now we know that this is two inches uh, and we know it's extended so we need a couple of pieces so and i'm only going to decorate from the in i'm not going to decorate this this is going to sit on the inside of the box not but i'm not bothering decorating it there's no need it's a waste of paper um so i'm going to take my strip i'm going to use the pink strip first i know that the handle is two inches so i'm taking it down a quarter of an inch so i'm going to one inch and three quarters so one inch and three quarters snip it's going to be the perfect mat and layer for the inside of my handle i need two of those so we're going to one and three quarters and we've got two of them and the same with the pattern i'm going to go to that pattern one so we did one and three quarters taking a quarter of an inch takes it to one and a half so i'm going to cut two pieces at one and a half inches and there we've got the perfect mat and layer if i just show you what i mean by that taking it into account there we go where's the other one gone becky oh it's there uh dear me um literally popping that on and it's the perfect mat and layer so i've got those two bits stuck down again use your tape pen your wet glue whichever glue of choice you're using you can use red liner tape if you want to use red liner tape it's entirely up to you but just want to stick those panels down and get those and i haven't chopped any off because i'm taking it right to the very end so you've got like a strip feature 
because obviously this is going to go on my handle. So use that. Pop that one on. Me telling us we're going to smash it and I've got plenty of time. I've just looked at time. Goodness me. Can I have an extension on the craft along, please, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> it's literally flown by and I thought we'd get it all done. Never mind. You're going to be able to finish this at home. Once you've constructed the rest of the decoration, I'll quickly explain how we're going to do. But what we're going to do is we're going to put this onto our handle. So taking from that middle piece, I'm going to join these two pieces together like so. And that's how you would extend that handle. Like I said, I'm not worrying about this because that's going to stuck on the inside of the box. But what I want to do is make sure that that is stuck down. So um, I'm going to use my tape for this just because it's an instant dry. Uh, let's give that a nice little flick over. I'm going to take it to that center piece. Go that way around, Debbie. There we go. And you can see now you've got that perfect, can you see it's framed it really nicely, even down, even down to an handle, just frames it lovely. So again, I'm just going to put my tape on. The only reason I'm using tape is because we are needing to, I'm just wanting to speed this little process up. But again, just choose your glue of choice. I'm going to take it to the very centre so they join in the middle. And if you are using wet glue, of course, you're going to get that bit of wiggle time, but feel fairly confident with that one if you want to join that join and you don't want to see the join you could take a little piece of um, paper and wrap that around so that you don't not come not the inside join the outside join so you could take that and wrap a little piece around there like so if you don't like the idea of a join being seen and i quite like that so i'm going to do that exactly the same so let's pop that little strip and this was just a little strip that was sat by you know from when i've been doing my die cutting um doesn't have to be any precise size just take a strip and it is actually it's about an inch this strip and then fold that over fold that over and I'm just going to snip it in the center because I don't need all of that plus I don't want a bit of unsightly uh, paper on the outside but there you've got a lovely join there in the center and it just looks gives it a nice little finish like I said take your bone folders you can use bone folders fingers for this edge of your counters it's entirely up to you but if you've got the tools there get your tools because we're shaping it now into the shape of an handle like so and you're just going to bring that down it just makes it a little bit easier to maneuver um, and when you're attaching this in you can see now we're going to attach it in. It doesn't make any difference that that paper's not dry because you can't see it. But what we are going to do is we're going to put some red liner tape. This is, a, this is again, it's that construction element, uh, Becky. So I want a bit of construction on either end of this. Um, if you want to shorten your handle down a little bit, you can take a little bit off the end if you want to shorten your handle. If it's too long for you, um, absolutely do so. No right or wrong way. You could, have a, uh, you could have a 20 inch handle, maybe round it down to 20, but don't forget I've taken an half an inch off in the center when I've joined it up, but it doesn't really matter. You just want a nice big handle for your, um, for your box, depending on what you're popping in there, your gift basket, mm. what you're popping in there. So again, let's just trim that down. Oh, and it yeah. is a good size box to pop loads of different things in. Yes. So if, like Amy, you are doing it for Mother's Day, you know, in there you might be able to get like a nice scarf with some candles, like little tea lights. You might be able to get in a few like, you know, sort of miniature travel smellies and things like that as yep. well. There's loads you can put in there. Yeah, absolutely. So just removing my tape edge, Becky. Um, decide where you're going to stick this. Doesn't really matter because all four sides are the same. But what you're going to do is attach that glue to that. And what I'll do is I'll turn it that way so you can see it. You're going to take it right down to the bottom and into the centre. Usually you do that by eye. It's a little bit easier when you measure it out. But uh, I'm not going to lie, Becky. I'm going to trim a little bit off the end because I'm just a tad over than what I want. So I'm just going to trim a little bit off. Um, and then I'm just going to push that down to that center piece right down to the very bottom in the center and the reason I love the red liner is for that strength burnish that down and I'm just going to repeat that onto the other side and again you can physically because it's a nice even shaped box you can physically get into that center um, quite easily if you're not 100% happy just position until you until you are happy with where it is quite that looks quite central so i'm going to now burnish that piece down and i'm just going to pick it up with my hand and do it that way 
and that's now your handle on your gift box but what we need to do is just do a little bit of stamping um, before we add our panels on so uh, choose are you going to use it twice are you going to use it once whereabouts are you going to pop your stamp um, and Debbie's got to try and remember where she's put a stamp <laughs> Uh, but we've got the stamp that literally fits beautifully under there. So I am going to bring back in my stamping platform only because it holds it down really nice and neatly for me. But I'm going to bring this in and we're going to hold it down with the magnets. Make sure those pesky magnets don't get stuck on your stamp. Mm. Um, but I'm going to position my stamp. And the lovely thing about this stamp is we get it a nice square edge, so it makes it nice and easy to be able to position. And I'm positioning it into its place. Let's hold it down with another magnet like so. I know that my piece is not going to move anywhere. All I'm going to do is now choose an ink. I'll go with a quick dry because it's nice and quick. But again, use any one of those. What I am going to do, just because I know I've got a little bit of a raised element, is just grab a little tissue. Just bear with me a second, Becky. Okay, no problem. And I'm just going to wipe a little bit of that ink off because I don't want it to transfer on. If we're using yeah. a rocker block, I know that that wouldn't happen. But I've just got a feeling with the paper being a bit raised, I might catch that element. So I'm just going to wipe away yeah, some great. of that excess ink. If you do want the stamping platform, it's currently on your screen. Nobody today pays $24.99 um, because if you use the code, you're going to get minimum 15% off. Have a look on the website to find out more. I'm just going to just that down. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. And then again, if you want to pop that on all four, you can. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to put it on two, actually. I'm not going to do it on all four. So I'm just going to position, in fact, Debbie you've moved you put a different one on there so again just clean that up a little bit before i actually stick that down because i don't want it to spoil my design or my papers so again i'm just going to pop that into place position my stamp down and it's easier to do it this way than it is the other way when it's stuck on the box like i said because i've done it myself so i know <laughs> i've done that little bit for you uh, and we don't want that to happen um, I'm just going to change my ink up a little bit because I think there's a little bit too much on there. So I'm just going to give that a little ink. And just wipe that little bit off there and pop that down. It's entirely up to you if you just put it on one panel. It's in, it's you know, that's your choice. Um, hope you have a lot. I love that. I just think it's really nice. Lovely stamp, lovely set. Um, I'm literally because they're all designed in that curvature the same way you can actually use maybe one of the other designs on there not necessarily have to use the happy birthday one maybe use one of the other ones that's on the other uh, other sets but all you're going to do now is you're going to stick your panels on now what you can do before you do this is you can die cut and if i just show you i'll go back to the box because i know we're running out of time but these pieces here measure, I'm going to show you how to do, quickly do one so that you can then repeat it at home. Um, so I'm going to take a piece of, let's go back to that Centura Pearl that we started with. So I'm going to move that to one side for a second. And I'm going to measure this at, um, we'll do four by six because we can always cut that down. And the reason I've gone slightly smaller is... You could take your piece, but I want it to sit on the inside part. Can you see the inside panel? Mm. If I was to go all the way across the six and a quarter, it'll cover the whole of that pink up. I want it to sit on the inside piece. So um, so I've measured that. In fact, you know what? I might, I might take that down a little notch. Let's go down to two inches, because I know the die, and there, I've got to get two pieces out of this. Um, die cut these at one at a time, though. So I'm going to bring that die cut element back in, just for a second, Becky when i can find it because i've thrown it down and now i can't remember where i've put it so if you can oh. see it becky uh, by all means give me a shout because uh, debbie's got a bit messy around here oh here it is it's hiding nice it's hiding work. yeah it's hiding there so let's get without throwing it on hey, the floor up. debbie without mm -hmm. throwing it on the floor and now <laughs> trying to pick it up with my silly tv nails in fact let me grab my walkie tool just for a second becky all right no problem I've got there you are, nice off. work. <laughs> That's where your uh, magnetic tweezers are coming out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
absolutely. So I'm going to just drop that down because I don't want a really thick panel or a thick border with this one. So depending on how thick you want it to be, um, I'm just going to lift it slightly, probably about um, a quarter, um, an eighth maybe, an eighth of an inch. Uh, I'm just going to make sure though that that's over the pattern because I want the whole of that pattern on there. So these measure at six inches by two inches. I only want a small part of this. I don't want a, a large part. So I'm going to run that through my and I. And you'll need this four times to go around all four pieces. Do it before you stick the panels down and I'll show you with the one. Makes a bit, again, it's that making crafting easy. You could, of course, stick all your panels on, then stick those on, but it gets a little bit tricky and you can get into a little bit of mess with your glues. So for me, um, doing the process before you stick that down makes life a little bit easier. So again, I'm just going to remove my tape, take my panel, and I'm just going to poke out all these little pieces. So I don't know if you want, while I'm just poking these little pieces out, if you want to uh, check in with Amy again, and I'll, I'll just stick that little piece together, um, and then you can complete this at your own leisure, because it is a little time consuming, but it's worth it, because it's a really pretty decorative basket. Uh, so, shall we check in with Amy? Becky? Hiya, Amy, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm, I'm going to stick these panels on now. Ooh, we're up to the panel section already. Um, Amy, unusual question. Um, uh -huh. Behind you, it looks like windows, but am I right in saying they're mirrors? It's in there. Oh, is it a mirror? It's cool, isn't it? I thought it were windows. I thought, oh, see, this is... No, uh, you said something about, the, about it looked nice outside, and I was like, it was pitch black at that point. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> it was 6 a.m., <laughs> wasn't it? Now the lights out, but it was, it was, yeah. um, it was early. <laughs> Secret mirror window, isn't oh, that clever? I like that. That's my investigative journalism brain, that is, because I was like, unless she has got indoor lights outside, I don't think that's a window. Oh, um, you see, you are so good. clever, Becky. Clever. Um, Amy, so you're having a good time? Oh, it's so much fun. I really like it. Oh, oh that's and she's um, And I'm using a lot of skills and a lot of pieces of equipment that I have from you guys that I hadn't played with enough so that's yeah. great oh that's brilliant i'm glad you're having some crafty fun and um, thank you amy i'll let you carry on debbie thank you're you looking me. very happy over there yep yeah, well i've poked all my little pieces out becky so all we're going to do so take your panels now and like i said repeat this four times we're just going to stick that onto the end now i just want this to just literally sit like that and i'll just what i'll do, just do is again take your pencil if you want but i'm just going to trim a little bit of the end off um and just to fit that on the inside so let me go back in there we go and that's going to sit on the inside piece like that and again it just lifts it a little bit you could actually pop if you wanted some foam pads behind the back of there or use some 3d color glue um, i'm going to stick mine flat so i'm just going to pop my um dotty tape pen this time so we're just switching it up to the dotty tape pen and I'm going to stick that on the inside panel, like so. And then the only difference that I've done is I've added some gems. And I did say the gems are uh, a choice and optional. Um, and if I just, t in fact, can we just hold it there for a second? Can you see? I've put some gems on the inside of flowers. Now, this won't work with all designs. If you've chosen a different design, it won't work with all of them. But I've just gone into the florals and I've added little gems into each of the florals. And the same on the top, even though, can, even though <laughs> sweeters are in there. Um, can you see, if I just put my hand there, I've just added onto those florals some little gems. It just gives it a little finishing touch and just adds a little bit of elegance to it. Um, now, the only difference there, and obviously, can't believe the time, <laughs> me, you're going to get it all done. I do it every time. Mm -hmm. But you're just going to stick your panels now onto the side. So if I just hold that there for a second, stick your panels down, all four sides. And then, do you know the other two dies that are in there? The little, what I call the little optional dies, the embellishment dies. So I used the butterfly one and the floral ones. And I'll show you. So the butterfly and the florals on this one. I Can you see up my handle? I've cut out six butterflies and if i just turn it there six of butterflies and in the center of the body i've put a little gem and i've just stuck them on randomly now if you come down here can you see those florals they just add a little extra feature 
and actually covered up some of my mucky markings when I tried to stamp on a box that was constructed. <laughs> uh, so it came in handy. But that's the thing. No such thing as that. It's always a nappy accident. Go, can I always Absolutely. fix it in the world of craft. But that's all I've done different. So stick your panels down. You've got your box constructed. You've got your handle constructed. You've got all your panels ready to go onto the sides. And you simply just attach that to the side. And then, and then fill your box to your heart's content if you want to line the inside of your box so by that i mean the inside you want to neaten up the process that we did on the outside you can do on the inside so you can really add a little decorative element to it it's exactly the same um or you could put some tissue paper in there and gift wrap things but you've got your idea i've used kids i've used my grandkids sweets that's what i've done in there um because i always buy them some treats uh, so I've just popped it into there, but let me just, I added a little piece of pink inside just to make it match up. So can you see? And the only thing that I did difference there is was a chosen piece of that cardstock cut down to that six and a quarter, but that is your gift box all done and dusted. So I'm sorry we didn't get the actual one completed, but that bit is the decoration part that you can do at home at your own leisure what we've done is constructed it together pop that box together showing you how to use the borders so i've enjoyed myself um i've got a little bit finished enough to do that one uh but just beautiful and showing you a different way of using your border dies which are fabulous and look gorgeous in card making as well as home decor projects as well as gift boxes as well I love it. Thank you so much for showing us that. Let's say hi, de, hi to Amy again. Hi, Amy. Hi. Where are you so up to with yours? Here's where I'm at. Let's see if you could see this. So this Ooh. is this one. And then I have to finish oh. my handle oh. and the stamp. But it'll be, um, I think I'm going to make like a spa, like things for like a spa day. Oh. Like little spa day basket. Oh, I love uh, that idea. Yeah, like a little pamper pack. Yeah, exactly. That sounds like a great idea. I love the colour palette you've gone for there, Amy. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, you could put loads of great treats in there for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Will you take a picture of that when you've finished and send it in to us, Amy? For sure, for love sure. love that. Um, Amy, am I right in saying that you're back with us quite soon? I think I'm back on Monday. Ooh. Charlotte said if the technology all worked fine, we might be back on, or Taylor said, somebody said, we might be back on Monday. So, God willing, I'm back on Monday. <laughs> well, the technology has worked beautifully today, so I'm sure I will see you again on Monday. Amy, thank I'll you so much for joining thank us. Thank you, Amy. Thank you all. Thank Enjoy you, everyone. Thank you to day. Debbie for showing me how to do this. Oh, really. you're welcome. No That's problem. Lovely. That's what we're here for. Our award-winning craft alongs, which I love. I know the experts do. I'm just so pleased that you've enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see your finished result. Thank you. Thank you for Appreciate joining it. us. And thank you for getting up so early and looking so wonderful yeah. at 6 a.m. to craft. You are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Amy. Bye bye, thank my love. You. Oh, isn't she lovely? So nice. Right, we've got to go now because uh, we've overrun. But, you know, it's nice to natter and to craft, isn't it? We are going to see you for um, crafty, Creative Cravings later on, where we are going to be talking about these fabulous elements. We've got chalkboard stamps as well for you. And you've got the final show of the day to treat yourself to that epic discount. So don't go anywhere. Carry on crafting. We will see you in about two hours. See you then, my love. <laughs>